Hi there, my name is Ryan Dice, and as the CEO of Digital Marketer, it is my privilege to welcome you to an introduction to digital marketing strategy. And as the title would suggest, this is an introduction. The really deep diving is gonna occur down at the individual unit and module level. What we wanna talk about here is really uh, an overview of digital marketing, kind of the main role of digital marketing, but I also wanna question some of your assumptions, okay? So much of what we do in, in marketing and really business growth in general springs forth from what we believe to be true versus what we know to be true. And so I wanna question some of those things right now. I wanna question what you believe to be true about your customer versus what you know to be true about your customer. What you believe the customer journey to be versus what you know it to be. So a lot of what we're gonna be doing in this particular training is just kind of getting out of you right now, what do you believe to be true? And as we move forward, to, through the individual master classes, and certainly if you're here and you are taking the digital marketing mastery class as a whole, uh, you're gonna get to question a lot of those assumptions, get clarity on it, and figure out really the, the exact steps that you could take. But for this particular module, for this particular unit, you get a little bit of a break, okay? Uh, not a lot of homework here, and this is gonna be a quick one. So with that said, let's dive in, and, and I wanna start off giving a, a, a general overview of the eight critical core disciplines of digital marketing. Because digital marketing is not just kind of a one size fits all sort of thing. There are eight very critical things that you need to know if you wanna be a skilled digital marketer. And the first one is conversion funnels, okay? Conversion funnels, recognizing that simply asking somebody to buy something from you, simply asking them to subscribe, it, that's not seamless and subtle enough. Right? Much of digital marketing is understanding sequence and proportion. Understanding where your customer is today and the exact thing that you need to offer them right there in that time to move them to the next logical step. That's what we're gonna be doing when we talk about conversion funnels. We're gonna talk about this one a little bit now. The second critical core discipline is content marketing. All right, content marketing, much of what we do, much of what we're gonna talk about is this value first style of marketing, the idea of, of giving before you ask. It's uh, not a particularly new concept, but thankfully uh, it, it's becoming a lot more prevalent and, and it's what we'd like to see you do because it's what's not only gonna make you the most money today, but it's what's gonna allow you to build a much larger brand over the long haul. Then we have customer acquisition, right? How do we go out there and leverage these paid traffic channels such as Google and Facebook to actually bring customers into our, uh, into our different conversion funnels? There's email marketing, right? Email marketing, how do we follow up once we have those subscribers? There's social media, right? How do we leverage the different social channels, be it you know, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, whatever the social channels that are most appropriate for you and your brand, leveraging those is critical. And then search marketing. What about all the people that are out there already looking for your brand, already looking for solutions to the, to the problems that you know how to solve, right? That's a biggie. Then there's data and analytics. How do we make decisions not based on hunches or assumptions, but based on actual data? And then finally, testing and optimization, right? How do we make sure that we're constantly improving? These are the eight critical core disciplines of digital marketing that hopefully if you're going through digital marketing mastery, you're gonna to be touching on every single one of these and becoming a master of all of them with the goal and with the idea of collapsing all of them into the one master level certification which is becoming a certified digital marketing professional. So whether you're going through the whole thing or whether you're taking just an individual mastery, my hope is that this lesson and what we're talking about here will guide your thinking throughout, and I'll talk more about that as we move forward. Now, again, as, as a part of this introduction, I wanna review and really define what is the role of digital marketing, right? So there's a lot that goes into digital marketing. We talked about the eight critical core disciplines, but what is this primary role of digital marketing? What does it do? Is it about generating traffic? Is it about getting exposure? Is it about making sales? Well, I wanna to submit to you this definition here. The role of digital marketing is to assist in moving a prospect from one stage of the customer journey to the next, right? An acknowledgement that not all prospects are created equal, that, that digital marketing, when done right, like I talked about before, acknowledges sequence and proportion. And we wanna make sure that we're leveraging all the tools that we have at our disposal as digital marketer, all those eight critical core disciplines to move a prospect from where they are today to ultimately where we would like them to be, which ideally is what's best for them as well. So this is the role of digital marketing. Um, so a couple of things spring from this. Number one, if we're gonna talk about moving a prospect from where they are to where they need to be, then we need to acknowledge that digital marketing is all about the customer. 
okay? It's all about the customer. Much of what we are gonna talk about right now, much of what we're gonna be talking about in some of the units to come is getting to know your customer a little bit better. It's why so many of the units that, that, that we're gonna go through, that we're gonna, they, they, they're gonna begin with first identifying, okay, this is my customer avatar. Don't skip that, okay? Don't skip that. When Molly talks about identifying your customer avatar as it relates to paid traffic, and when Russ talks about really identifying and clarifying your customer avatar as it relates to content marketing, don't skip over that. Don't think, oh, I know that, because this is the most critical part of the entire process, recognizing that digital marketing, when done right, must be customer-centric. It must be customer-centric. It should not be product-centric, and this is where so many brands get it wrong. When they start marketing, they start talking about their product. I'm gonna to submit to you today, and you're gonna hear this theme repeated again and again and again throughout this training, that if you talk about your customers, if you enter the conversation that's going on in their mind, if you address the needs that they have, and then make the connection to how your product meets those needs, you're gonna find that this becomes a lot simpler and a lot more effective. If all you wanna do is ramble on and on and on about how great your product is, you're gonna find that you're, you've got a pretty steep hill to climb. So remember this, it's all about the customer. That's why we're gonna spend some time here beginning to think about that one thing. Who is your customer? We also wanna answer three big questions by the time we finish this particular introductory unit. The first question is, who do you serve? So we talked about that, right? Who is your customer? The second big question is, how will you serve them? Right? It, it, it seems so obvious, but acknowledging that there are a lot of different ways that you can serve your customer, acknowledging that different people are gonna start in different places, acknowledging that it's all about them and what they want, not necessarily what you want. So getting clarity on how you're going to serve them as it relates to the customer journey and the step that they are, uh, that, that they're in in that particular customer journey is critical. So we're gonna answer this question. How will you serve them? How will you move them through their customer journey? And then finally, how will you reach them? How will you reach them? What are the particular campaign types, the, the particular campaign goals that you're gonna to have today for your brand? There are three big goals, and by the end of it, I'm gonna ask you to pick which one you're gonna be focusing on as we move through these different trainings and mastery classes together. So, with all that said, what I wanna do next is dive in. I wanna answer the first question. Who do you serve? So let's talk about your customer.